So there's a few different ways that you can send files from your Android phone to your Android TV, like say using the Cloud File Manager on your Android TV or using a AirDrop-like alternative, or even sending it over Wi-Fi and using the good old method of using flash drives. Remember them, like back in the day? So in this video, I'll show you four different ways on how to share files from your Android phone to your Android TV along with the pros and cons and when to use which one and where to use them. And if you're new here, subscribe because we put up videos on streaming services and other little hacks every other week. First up is Snapdrop. It's the simplest method of sharing files between your Android phone to your Android TV. Since it's a web app, you know, you don't have to go through the arduous process of installing it and then clicking next and whatnot and what have you. But the only requirement though is that the TV and the smartphone be on the same Wi-Fi network. Simply take out your Android phone and go to the Chrome browser and then open snapdrop.net. Over here, you'll see that the website that looks like receiving hotspot icon and the icon you'll name your device with. By the way, the device name is different every time you load up the website. Now come back to Android TV and go to Chrome browser. You can choose any browser by the way and open snapdrop.net. You'll see an Apple AirDrop like interface similar to what you saw on mobile but bigger. Now go back to Android and tap on the Android TV name. This action will launch a pop-up box where you can choose the file that you want to share and it'll automatically start transferring. Since the transfer is on Wi-Fi, the transfer speed is pretty good. Once your file is transferred on your Android TV, a pop-up window will open up showing two options, ignore or download. So click on the download to download it, and then once it's done, you can open it on any file manager. Snapdrop is free and open source, so definitely give it a shot. So the next step is using Wi-Fi to transfer files. Unlike the previous one though, this one has you install an app, but trust me, it's a one-time installer and then it's good to go basically forever and it's suitable for sending large files and it's quite good. On your Android TV, head over to Google Play Store and download the Wi-Fi File Explorer. It's free and well optimized for Android TV OS. And while we're at it, also download a file manager on your Android TV. Once you've done both of them, open the Wi-Fi File Transfer app and it'll show you an IP address provided that your Android TV is connected to a Wi-Fi network. Now, head over to your Android phone, make sure it's connected to the same Wi-Fi network as your Android TV Open the browser and then type in the IP address that you saw before, like 192.168.1.106 colon 8000, and then press enter. Do keep in mind, the Wi-Fi file transfer app on your Android TV should be running on your TV the entire time, which basically just acts as a server. If you close the app, the connection will drop as well. Once the connection is established, you'll see a file manager on your Android TV with folders such as downloads, DCIM, and etc. Zoom in on your Android to see them properly. Now say if I want to send a video file from my Android to Android TV. So open the download folder and then zoom in again and then you'll see a upload box on the bottom right side. Tap on it once and select the video that you want to send. And, you know, it could be a picture as well or any kind of file that you want to send from your Android storage. And that's pretty much it. Wait for it to go. The speed is pretty decent considering it's a Wi-Fi connection. A one gigabyte video took like a minute or two. Now head back to Android TV and open a file manager of your choice to see the file you just sent from your Android phone. If you don't have any file managers installed, go to Play Store and download FX File Manager. It's pretty neat, clean, simple, you know? Open the FX File Manager and go to Download Folder and then there you'll see the video file. The setup also works the other way around. If you want to send a file from your Android TV to your Android phone, all you have to do is open the Wi-Fi transfer file on your Android TV and make a note of the IP address and then go back to the Android phone, open the browser and then punch in the same IP address in the address bar. Once you see the Android TV file manager, zoom in, go to the files or folder and then you want to download and then select them using the checkbox next to it and then tap on the download option near it. That's it, download it in the background and it works with all kinds of files. So the third process is using a flash drive. It's a good old method, but it's a bit arduous because you have to physically transfer files, plug it in there and then plugging it back into the TV. It's a bit annoying, but it's the only last resort if you have no Wi-Fi or no internet or anything like that. Let me show you how you can transfer files from your Android smartphone to your Android TV using this method. So connect an OTG connector first and then use your flash drive with your OTG connector. 
After you connect the USB stick, use any file manager app on your Android TV to share the data from your Android to your flash drive. Now eject the flash drive from your smartphone and connect it to your Android TV and you can either play it directly or copy the file from any file manager app. This is a really well known method on your smartphone. Open Google Drive app on your Android smartphone or a URL on your browser like you know drive.google.com do I really have to say you that? Now log in with your Google account and then click on the plus icon and upload the file that you want to share from your Android phone to your Android TV. Now go to the Android TV and go to the Play Store and download a solid file manager app if you don't have it already. Now this app has direct Google integration so open the Google Drive section and log in with the same account that you used on your phone. So over here you'll see the uploaded file so if you click on that you'll know a download icon on the right side so you can just click on that and then you'll be downloading the file on your file manager app on your Android TV. So there you go, that's how you transfer files from your Android phone to your Android TV. I personally prefer using Snapdrop because it's really quick and fast and I use the Wi-Fi method for sending large files over. Let me know which one's your favorite or even suitable method in the comment section below. While you're at it, check out our other video that we've done on how to send files from iPhone to Android because some people do that. As always, I'm Vamzi, thanks for watching and if you're new here, subscribe and click on that bell icon because you get notified every time we put out a new video. You never know, it might be useful. See ya.